Good afternoon, everyone. Um, once again, my name is Stephanie Bricking, and uh, I'm the co-chair of the Society of Ohio Archivists Educational Programming Committee. My co-chair, Bill Madro, and I, as well as the rest of the EPC, hope that you have enjoyed the past two days of our virtual conference. Just to let you know, we do have content on our website as well. We have a poster from John Dewey's titled, Getting Your Community Involved with Collection Building. You should definitely stop by the SOA website to check out his poster, as well as slides from conference presenters. We also plan to have recordings from all of the sessions available on SOA's YouTube account soon. Before I pass things along to Adam, I want to once again thank Hollinger Metal Edge for their sponsorship of our meeting as well as Ohio Humanities for their sponsorship of our plenary on Tuesday morning. And finally, I want to personally thank the members of the Educational Programming Committee, Rachel, Madeline, Brittany, Betsy, Colette, Ashley, Kate, Anne, and my co-chair Bill for being able to pivot from an in-person conference to a virtual conference so easily. I would also like to thank Matt at OHC, who has done an amazing job behind the scenes. I couldn't put this conference on without all of you. And now I will pass this along to Adam. Hello again, and welcome to the final session of the SOA uh, Spring 2020 Conference. Uh, the past two days have been great. I cannot hand out enough thanks to Stephanie, Bill, and all of, the, all of the session shepherds and the rest of the EPC for putting this together. A big thank you to Dr. Betsy Hedler for all of her tireless assistance and to the rest of the OHC staff who helped make this virtual conference possible. Finally, I'd like to thank Dr. Kimberly Hamlin and all the wonderful presenters. Before moving on to SOA business and the close of, this, of the conference, I'd just like to add a few words on current events. First, please be safe and healthy. As we lurch forward with reopenings and a return to a new normal, be mindful that we are not yet out of the woods. Like most things, we know less than we should. It doesn't hurt to be a bit more cautious. As for this pivotal moment in the ongoing struggle for social justice, equality, and the valuing of black lives, I ask that we listen and learn, especially from those who have been most affected, that we strive to be anti-racist, and that we learned what it means to be anti-racist first. I also ask that as archivists and curators of the historical record, that we look for ways to respectfully empower and preserve historically and presently marginalized voices, we must also take note that injustice strikes at, any, at many intersections, and so we need to be ever vigilant. Thank you for, the momentary, for momentarily indulging me. Now I'd like to present the winners of, of the SOA Merit Award, um, which we have two of this year. The first Merit Award goes out to the Licking County Records and Archives. The Licking County Records and Archives Department was created in 2008 in response to a growing need for records management throughout the various departments that make up the Licking County government. Since that time, the department has transitioned from working out of the Licking County Courthouse attic to operating from a pole barn that served as a temporary archive and office space to finally moving to its permanent location, the newly constructed Licking County Records and Archives Center. In 2018, the Licking County Records and Archives was tasked with removing over 100 years of records stored in the Licking County Courthouse attic. After three days of work, staff had removed hundreds of boxes and over 300 bound volumes, including historical books from the county clerks of courts, treasurer, and auditor. All of the books were either contaminated with varying degrees of mold, covered in bird and bat feces, deteriorated from poor storage conditions, or undergoing a combination of all of these conditions. In 2019, the department began developing a plan to inventory the various courthouse attic volumes, identifying those volumes with permanent retention and or historic value, thoroughly cleaning the volumes that would be retained and storing them permanently in the records center. Work began in July of 2019, and by the project's completion in December of 2019, records and archive staff had cleaned, cataloged, and rehoused 210 county volumes that are permanently valuable for store historical and or legal purposes. With the dedication of time and effort, Licking County Records and Archives has ensured that these volumes will be available for the public to peruse and enjoy for generations to come. The second merit work goes out to Kate uh, Putriscus. Uh, Kate is honored for her ex exemplary contributions to archival practices and to the profession. She has developed and shared innovative approaches to technical services for archival collections as the manager to 
archival description and access at the Ohio State University Libraries. Inheriting a processing backlog that will take decades to finish, Kate employs agile mythology and project tracking software to manage a busy team of permanent contractual and student employees. This novel approach to the work of archival processing has led to, has led to significant gains for, the Ohio, for Ohio State University. Kate focuses on teaching and supporting her team and their commitment to following archival, archival theory and best practices, leaving a legacy of robust and standards-based description. Her efforts have created a substantial increase in number of of collections that are findable as published EAD finding aids online in a short amount of time. Her team's work has also enriched access to legacy collections through reprocessing and enhanced description, as well as creative approaches to housing and managing modern collections that include creative expressions and artifacts. This work benefits researchers worldwide who are drawn to Ohio State University and also the state of Ohio for access to these collections. Kate has also exemplified leadership in the, pro in the profession generously sharing her time and expertise. She has served on the SOA Council and committees such as EPC, as well as numerous others at her own institution and nationally. She also cares about people. As a manager and, as a manager and in her professional service, she signs a light on issues of pay and equity and diversity in the archival profession. Kate is a consumer pro who is passionate about archival ethics and practices and is a model for all other archivists. Uh, congratulations to the Licking County Records and Archives and to Kate. Normally we present both with a plaque, however that piece of business has been temporarily postponed. No worries though, they will be receiving their physical award just at a later date. Also congratulations to Candace Pine, Riza Malowski, Zoe Orcutt, and Marissa Martin, our new professional scholarship winners. And for the final piece of business, the election of new officers. In May, um, was it just May? SOA held an online election for the positions of vice president slash president elect, treasurer, and council member. Elected as VP slash president elect was Sherry Goody. Elected as treasurer was Lisa Rickey, and elected as council member was Melissa Dalton. I'd like to extend for at least a third time a thank you to the outgoing council members, Kate Patriscus, Mark Bloom, and Stacey Lavender, as well as Andrew Harris, who resigned as SOA president in September. Uh, if you are interested in running for a council position, position, please reach out to Robin Heiss. If you'd like to get more involved in SOA, please consider joining a committee such as the EPC, which puts this conference together. Committee info along with contact information can be found on the website, and I'll post it here in the chat. Um, uh, thank you, everyone, and have a good spring slash summer. I will say briefly um, before, before as the last thing, um, advent, the ad, I think it's the advocacy committee has asked, Natalie Fritz, thank you, asked, to, asked us to remind you that there is a virtual meetup tomorrow um, and the link is in the chat box that you can use to pre-register for that. So, and now we're done.